Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your host, Casey Smith. And today, we're gonna to be covering all types of trout, rod, and reel combos, everything from a $40 budget to a $1,000 budget. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so I'm doing five combos, and we're gonna start off with number one right now, and that is the Ugly Stick combo. Uh, you could do the Ugly Stick, the GX2 Elite. So that one's a couple, I think it's like 20 bucks more, but the regular Ugly Stick combo is $40, and that is gonna be the cheapest rod and reel combo I think you can get for that good of a price. You can go garage sailing, you can do Craigslist, you can get some good stuff there, but we're, if we're talking about new rod and reels right now, 40 bucks for an ugly stick is gonna be the cheapest and best quality for that price. The one that they have for the combo that they sell is a five foot ultralight. Now obviously that's not ideal. Trout fishermen, you know, I like a seven to eight foot rod for trout fishing. Uh, it is the ultralight, which I do really like ultralights for trout fishing, but a five footer, not the best length, but you pay for what you get, you know, with 40 bucks, you're not gonna get a whole lot of options on that. Now, one big pro about the Ugly Stick combos is that you can pretty much find them everywhere. Some of the rod and reels that are in the higher budget are kind of hard to find sometimes, and they sell out really fast, especially during trout season. But the Ugly Sticks, you can pretty much find at any bait and tackle shop, Bass Pro, Cabela's, Shields, Academy, Dick Sport, I know Dick Sporting Goods, if they carry fishing gear. But yeah, pretty much all of them. Um, so yeah, there is number one, the Ugly Stick combo. All right, so the Ugly Stick combo is here. Now we're going to pretty much a little bit over double that price. We're gonna get to a 90 to $100 budget. And this is going to be where your rod and reels start to get a lot more quality to them. The first one being the Akuma Salilo and the Fluger President. Now those two together, the Akuma Salilo is around $35. The Fluger President is around 60. So all in all, you're gonna be, you know, about 90 to 100 bucks total, right? And uh, this is an amazing combo. I actually have a bunch of videos fishing with the Salilo on my channel. Killed them at Lake Comanche uh, down in Northern California. Destroyed them down there. I love this rod. I honestly, I don't understand how Akuma gets away with this rod for $35. I don't know, I don't understand how they're making money with this rod. Because this rod fishes like an $80 or $90 rod a lot of the times. This is an exceptional quality rod. And if I had 100 bucks, this is hands down the setup I would get. The Fluger Presidents are pretty light for, for the price and they're super durable. I had one for about four or five years. I fished for it with it a long time. I used to ride my bike to all the different ponds in my area as a kid. I had the Fluger President and I dropped it off my bike so many times in the concrete and it never broke. So yeah, I that combo is awesome. And like, like the Ugly Stick, you can pretty much get those two at any tackle shop. Sportsman's Warehouse, Bass Pro, Cabela's. Those two are very, very easily obtainable. And for hundred bucks, you can't beat it. You cannot beat that for hundred bucks. That is the best trout setup. The ones I would recommend are the Fluger 20 to 25 in, in terms of you know size for trout. And then the Salilo, they have a 6.6 ultralight or they have a 7.6 ultralight. Now, depending if you don't really like the super tall rods, then go with the 6.6, but I like the 7.6 rod. Uh, it's awesome. The one my dad actually has here is a seven foot light and this one's awesome as well But yeah, they got a bunch of different sizes. So that's another benefit for them But yeah, there is the hundred dollar combo with the Salilo and president Alrighty, so the next one we're gonna get into here is the hundred and fifty dollar ish kind of range You know hundred and fifty to two hundred and that combo for me is going to be the Shimano Sedona the one I have right here is the 500 size and the Bass Pro Shops Panfish Elite Now if you're going for big trout, I'd bump up to a thousand but for the 500 I've had no problem catching fish on that. It's been awesome for me But overall this combo this is where the rods you're gonna really start to feel a little better little better quality with them um, You know some of the guides are just a little stronger. They don't feel as kind of clunky in your hands You know this rod is exceptional. I don't understand how they sell this for 80 bucks this rod fishes way better than a $80, most $80 trout rods I've seen. Um, so yeah, and it is a panfish rod, so obviously it's great for crappie, bluegill, a whole bunch of other stuff too. Um, but yeah, this setup is awesome. This has been one of my kind of go-tos lately. This is a great rod for me because I do fish with some of the higher end stuff, but I like when I take people fishing, I don't want to give them super crappy gear. So this is actually the setup that I give people when we go fishing, I let them fish with this setup because I still know it's quality. I know they got a good chance of hooking up with this, but at the same time, you know, it's pretty durable, and if it breaks, oh well. Like, you know, if it breaks, it may be an $80 rod or $70 reel. So, not too big of a deal on that end. Uh, you could also replace the Sedona with a Daiwa Acceler LT. I would do the 1000 size. I've done a review on that reel as well. I'll put that in the, in the top corner here. Um, but yeah, both those two would be exceptional paired up with this rod. Awesome combo. This is a great combo. 
I will put a reminder as well. I have links down below to all of this, most of the gear on Amazon if you guys wanna purchase through there. If you guys actually purchase anything through those links, it really helps me out as a channel. You know, I get a little kickback from it. Helps me out so I can make more videos for you guys like this. Alrighty, now we are bumping up to the good stuff. This is level four, and this is gonna be your three to $400 price range in this area. For me, I have, uh, this is actually a relatively new rod for me. I have only used it for about nine, 10 trips so far, and I love it. It's an amazing rod. It is the Akuma Guide Select Pro. The one I have is the 7.6 Ultralight, and I have this paired up with a Shimano Stratic CI4. I think for Shimano and Daiwa reels, because they kind of size theirs in the same you know size mech system or whatever, the 1000 is perfect. It's a great size for it, still holds enough line. I have braid on here. I fish pretty much braid on all my trout gear now because it's super thin and cast a long ways but yeah oh my gosh these two together your shimano stratic is coming in at around 200 dollars, and your akuma guide select pro is around 110 now one big disadvantage with this combo here is they are both becoming kind of tricky to get the shimano stratic ci4 has now been discontinued and replaced by the shimano vanford so you can find these kind of on ebay craigslist marketplace you know maybe some tackle shops that still have some remaining left um, but these are becoming hard to get and the Akuma Guide Select Pro I got on fishusa.com. Not very many tackle shops will carry this. You usually have to go through Akuma, but even then they sell out fast. I was on a waiting list for months on this rod before it came in and I got it. And right as I got it, they sold out again. So very tricky setup to get, but wow, this rod, this is hands down, this is the best trout rod I have ever had in my life. It is so smooth and light, and it's not like some of those really expensive thin trout rods that break, you know, if you even like breathe near them, right? super light sensitive i love the colors i like a full cork handle i don't i'm not a big i'm not as big of a fan as the split grip as i am the full cork this is an amazing handle on this rod everything in this setup is just perfect this is pretty much my dream trout rod and reel setup this has been amazing so there is that right there all righty here is step five this is where there is a big jump in terms of the price of gear kind of after that 300 dollars range you get into like eight nine hundred dollars thousand dollars so for this setup my dream this would be my ultimate dream setup this would be a shimano stella 1000 paired up with a Phoenix Alexer rod. The Shimano Stella is coming in at about $700 and the Phoenix Alexer is coming in around 200. Now that setup together is about 900, but Phoenix does make a couple rods above that that are coming in at four, three, four hundred dollars So your setup could be well over a thousand dollars. That would be like the ultimate most bougie trout setup you could possibly get. If that's all you do, go for it, do that. But if you wanna spend $600 less and do this setup, I would highly recommend it. And with the Stella, obviously, for $700, you're gonna be getting the smoothest, best qualities in a reel you would ever want. The Phoenix Alexer, I do like the rod, however, you know, be very careful with it. The, the last remaining like two or three eyelets on that rod are very, very flimsy. It's what makes it so sensitive, but wow, they can break very easily. I've had other Phoenix rods in the past and they've broken, um, and I've used a Phoenix Electra before and it's very sensitive, but you just feel nervous when I'm fishing with it. I feel very nervous. Whereas with this rod, with the Guide Select Pro, I just don't feel as nervous with that. Um, but either way, it's still the most incredible, most sensitive rod I have ever felt in my life. It is incredible incredible how much you can feel on that rod, you know, on the end of your line. If a fish breathes near that rod, you're feeling it. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the description below, I put so much information on different videos I've used these on, all the specs, all the ones I would prefer to fish. Go down below and you guys can get more information there. Uh, if you guys liked this and you want to see me do this on other kind of, you know, types of fishing, let me know. I'd be super willing to do more videos like this. I actually enjoy making informative videos like this because I like talking. Um, but yeah, this one I tried to make it short and sweet, get you guys the most information possible before you do your Christmas shopping or whenever you see this video. So yeah, see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing. Alexer rod. Now that coming in with the Stella is about $700. The Phoenix, Phoenix, crap, I said penis. <laughs>